Hey everybody, this is Matt from Cinti Jungle. Today we are going to sit back, crack against it, and watch a little film on Giovanni Bernard. Bernard is really an unsung hero in, I would say, this Bengals offense, but really just the Bengals team in general. Uh, you know, big time leader for this team because a lot of things that sometimes go unnoticed on offense and on special teams where he stepped up this year as the person protector. So this week, he got a chance to step in to that RB1 role with Joe Mixon injured. And he did a great job with it, all right? And it's not just about running the football. It's about a lot of things, all right? It's about pass protection and it's about catching the ball, all right? Getting out of the route, catching the ball, making plays on screens, things along those lines. So we'll uh, we'll take a look right here. And this first one is a great run. All right, he follows the tackle's block. And this is that little jump cut he does in the hole as you watch him right there. Boop, pops back. Great job, seven yards. Here's another really good run. Gains eight yards on this. It's just a zone play. Finds the cutback, hits it real fast. All right, now that's one thing I noticed about Joe Mixon last week. I thought he was having a really good game uh, prior to getting injured. And one of the big things is that he was really hitting the hole. He wasn't dancing around too much, you know, searching too hard for that big play comeback like he sometimes does. Obviously, we love it when he hits those, but sometimes you just got to hit the hole. And, and look at Mixon, or excuse me, look at, look at Gio here. Bam! Just finds that little opening, ducks his shoulder, gets real low. I mean, that's kind of his advantage. He's a smaller guy. Right, finds it, tucks it away, you know, picks up eight yards on first down. That's an awesome play. So here's another round a little bit later in the game. And look, there's really nothing here. You just take a look at it right away. All right, look, they've, they've got a nice little wedge there, All right, but there's really nowhere for him to go. He can't bounce it out because you've got this guy coming in from real wide. He's unaccounted for in the blocking scheme. And you've got that backside backer who the tight end is leading up the hole to block, but you got him kind of sitting wide, like waiting for the cutback. So you got nowhere to go, but right up the middle, you know, right behind that, that Billy Price block. And Gio does a great job with it, right? Tucks it away, gets in there, gets what he can, he gets five yards on him. I mean, that's a solid running play right there uh, when there wasn't really much going on for him. But what really sets Gio apart is his blocking. He's an excellent pack, pass protector. Watch as he takes on this blitzing defensive back. I mean, he takes a shot there, right? He steps up and he takes it. Again, he's he's not the biggest dude, right? He's one of the smallest guys on the team, and he takes that thing on. He does a really good job with it, keeping that guy away from Joe Burrow. In this clip, he actually comes across the formation, right? He's gonna pick up the linebacker from this side Steps, sees it, steps in front of Burrow, doesn't get in Burrow's way, you know, doesn't get in the way of the throwing motion or anything like that. Just steps up, makes the play, and, you know, blocks a much bigger linebacker here. Again, keeping Joe Burrow safe. All right, and even when he's getting out into the route, he's excellent with chip blocks. All right, the Bengals did a really good job with this between Geo and Sample throughout this game. All right, and we see here he helps Bobby Hart out a little bit. That guy's getting a little wide. Gio takes him on, slows him down, you know, just enough to really help Hart to, to regroup there. You know, Drew Sample here on the other side. A little action there on, on Miles Garrett. All right, so it's just getting enough, all right, and then getting out into the route. So really valuable for what this guy can do in pass protection. And he's also an excellent receiver. We'll see him right here on the screen pass. The Bengals did a great job of screens in this game. They've really improved their blocking on screens. Early in the season, they, they just weren't getting where they needed to be. But they've really improved that, and I think Gio is excellent at it. You know, he's a smaller guy. He's shifty, so he can get kind of in and out of things because he's got that, that short, compact build. All right, gives him a mechanical advantage. But whoop, nice little cut there. All right, and these guys are diving a little bit. There's an extra guy there anyway. But, man, he gets a big-time gain on that. Uh, that's 25 yards on that screenplay. People have asked me, why doesn't he return punts? I mean, you really, you see the vision, you see what he can do in the screen game, and it's basically the same skill set that you would think he'd be really good at that, and he was really good at that in college in North Carolina. So he puts that skill set to work here. Great hands as well, and 
look how this ball comes in a little bit low. He adjusts to it very well. Goes down, you know, still secures the ball, turns around. Man, pancake block there from Billy Price, putting that guy down. This play did get called back. It wasn't uh, an offensive lineman. It was actually called on T. Higgins. Seems like a bit of a phantom call to me, but whatever. All right, but some good blocking down the field. And, man, this guy's making plays. You know, if that, if that thing counts, that's, uh, you know, that's a 23-yarder right there. And that brings us to the last play. Now, Joe Burrow and Zach Taylor in their post-game press conferences, like immediately after the game when they were still probably really pissed about things, talked about Giovanni Bernard on this play and how great he did on his motion. So, look, it's one thing. He adjusts to the pass. He makes a great catch. You know, and then he turns and gets up field, manages to get in the end zone. Watch this motion. Just the timing of it. The way he comes back, right? He's going kind of, kind of nice and slow across, right? All right, man, taking his time, taking his time. Oh. All right, and then he really gets moving. You see how he puts pressure on this guy, right? The guy's really not sure, and he starts to run. And then he, he's really putting pressure on him when he starts to move. And then, pop, pop, comes back. Now he's got the advantage. Now he's got the step on him, right? Ball's a little bit behind him, still makes the catch. Great play there by Gio. I mean, this is an awesome job by Gio and you, you can see you know like that little bit of detail uh, about how exactly he does that motion how he he kind of changes up his tempo a little bit to have an impact on that defender I mean, you can see why Zach Taylor and Joe Burrow were, were praising that so profusely in the post game uh, so look Gio was the man all right and I didn't even really get into the technical aspects of pass protection but you've got to be really really smart all right, you've got to be really smart to understand what's going on. I think I actually showed that in the first Browns matchup uh, about how he lets himself sort out in front of him and actually both the guys in front of him missed their block, and he made a great block. But you know, he gets his job, and he can he can focus in, you know, forget about what else is going around on him, and do his job with all these other bodies flying around, all these other things going around on the field. All right, if you've ever been to a Bengals game and seen these guys in warmups, I mean, like literally, this guy is small. Like you see him next to Travion Williams, you think they're the same size? They are not. I mean, he does not look like the other guys on this team, but he is a dude. All right, and he can, you know, he's got the intelligence to, to those things in pass protection, but man, for a little guy, he packs a punch, right? He doesn't, he doesn't look like he would, but man, he can step in there. He can take that deep into back, coming from a distance, coming at full speed, right? That's, that's still some major force, even though that guy doesn't, you know, really weigh any more than him. He can take on those linebackers coming in. You know, there's a place in this game too where he's helping clean up on defensive linemen, kind of cutting this a little bit short for time, keeping that stuff out of there. But man, he is awesome in that pass protection stuff. And that's why coaches absolutely love this guy because of everything that he can do in pass protection. Then you get him as a receiver, right? Awesome as a receiver too. You see how he adjusts the ball. You see how natural his hands are, how quick he can, uh, you know, make adjustments to the ball on the, on the fly and make the catch even when the ball's not put in a great place. You see how when the ball's in his hands, he's reading it like a kick returner, right? He's reading it like a running back, but in the open field. And you see as a running back how he, he sees the cuts, he can do athletic moves, that little jump cuts in the hole, but he's gonna hit the hole too. He's not gonna dance, he's not going to lose you yards. This guy's a stud, he doesn't get the recognition that he deserves, all right, because they're not always able to get him as involved as you'd like to see him involved. But man, this guy can seriously play. Giovanni Bernard had an opportunity last weekend. He stepped up and he did it, all right? And if Joe Mixon can't go again this weekend, he'll do it again, all right? Because he is, a, he is a dude. He can help you in a lot of different ways. He is really the modern running back. And he's a very, very valuable piece of this football team. So I'm Matt Minnick from Cincy Jungle. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, grab a gansit and check out the pregame show this weekend on YouTube and Facebook. Who day?